Standing behind me are doctors, health workers from all the districts of Kigezi region that include Kisoro, Kawale, Kigezi, Rwanda, Ruchiga, and uh, Rukunjiri. Behind us, the doctors are attending the second Kigezi Joint Review Mission that brings together all health workers who are reviewing the progress of the health sector in this region. It's being, it's being uh, Ministry of Health in partnership with USAID and other partners like World Health Organization and several other key stakeholders have come today and also for tomorrow we'll be reviewing what the health sector in these six districts is doing. Already we have already heard that Kigezi region is not doing too bad. They're doing well in maternal health, they're doing well in HIV suppression, but the program still continues and we shall be knowing more about what the Kigezi Joint Review Mission has in store. Not clear of their status in the region. They offer 70% of common causes of disease burden in this region are preventable. But however, we are seeing also an increase of non-communicable diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, and cancer conditions. With the influence of cross-border effect, it means to get rid of needs special attention and special consideration when we are running from this region because of the uncertainties we are getting. We call upon the ministry to consider the additional population we get which we are not expected to serve. Therefore, when we are planning for the guest meeting, it has to be special. You cannot put the physical infrastructure. When it comes raining, all of the hills come and cross the heart, cross the roads. Therefore, if I'm going to open instead of passing here, I may pass in the room. That's why we are calling for special attention to this issue. However, with all those challenges mentioned, as in case we have continued to deliver health services to the communities within the case. I think the case is not the last region in the land. If there is, we are the best. We commit to continue serving the people of the Gezi and the Uganda tribe and the last one I have said we serve the people from DRC, from Uganda, all of them are here. With that, I take this opportunity to welcome you to the sorrow and to welcome you to the Gezi for those who have come to have traveled from outside the Gezi, as you are here, try to enjoy Kisoro. Kisoro is the power of Uganda. <laughs> the name of Kisoro originates from Kisoro. Just a point here, as you go to Kawale, that's where the village of Kisoro is. So, when you are in Kisoro, you have to feel this. We have two borders. In the evening, please don't go to your hotels and sleep. Move to Nagani, it is just 10 kilometers. And you visit the ice. If you just check there, it will not take any time, but you can have the feeling of the ice. If you go to this side, to China, it is just six kilometers from Sultan. When I was working in the car, without knowing that it is for us, 
place in red and fast and then another country. So, for those who have never visited the Goya, please make sure you visit the Goya from the summit. Two, we have so many twist activities and attraction areas. Tomorrow, when you finish the JLM, do not just think you are very person. You can have a night here and you visit Bili, Kurigo, and you, you see the Korea, Mount Everest. You can go here, Ugahinda, and also see the Mount Everest and other features. We have so many projects here because this is a kind of area and enjoy, have good pictures which you will be remembering in the future. I take this opportunity to welcome you back again here to the solo and enjoy the solo for the day.
substantial contribution to the recovery of human capital that can promote economic development for this country and achieve sub region as a whole. On another note, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to the United States Ambassador and the United States of America and her agency USAID, the World Health Organization, United Nations and its agencies, UNHCR, UNFPA, and UNICEF for their unwavering support for the cause of improving health care in our health service delivery over the years. Thank you very much. Thank you to the American people and the United Nations family and fraternities. Allow me your contributions to the health care service delivery in GK's region and sub region. But you forgive me in case I leave out a significant neighbor. I want to start by all the health workers, whichever color and region. Thank you very much. I want to start thank the government, employees, and healthcare givers, and the leadership. You don't have to be made to give leadership. I also want to thank the Avalonu Religia government, Mwerali, Mwerali, there. I want to thank Uganda Health Activity, Local Partner Health Services, Social Behavior Change Activity, Local Service Delivery Activity, Keeping children health and safe. G2G cover regional referral strengthening activity. Uganda health system strengthening activity. Uganda supply chain strengthening activity. Many, many more integrated partners. Thank you and recognize you. We accomplished all that today. Is that the Before I forget, when Dr. Kasozi was speaking, he says USAID gives care to 50,000 people living with HIV. And she said 97% have suppressed that the epidemic is not about to end. We need to look for everybody who is not viral suppressed. And allow me to digress a little. We need to look and talk to every youth of the potential of increasing prevalence of HIV. They have never seen anybody fall in the bed with HIV. They have not seen what we describe as sleepy disease syndrome. So they don't care. And given the fact that people can live access governance as well as the means of called SCAP, headed by Sindiona, planning, finance and policy, health promotion, environmental health, and the non communicable disease programs. We need to clap for them. If I was the one CDP, I would say, Honorable Minister, they have forgotten the director of public health. But that's okay. I commend all the personnel in these departments for driving and supporting service delivery in the sub region and Uganda, where it is today. The frontier health work professionals at the different facilities have served as we present the hospital in this outstanding achievement. I would also like to congratulate those who presentations that were accepted and are going to listen to and the efforts of their work that will be presented during this year. Thank you. I am informed that there are around 300 counts of budget. We thank you, but how wonderful to be for our government when we see the budget, then we shall take collective responsibility to account for it. We still expect that something can happen. I'm persuading you to pass on the information. As I conclude, I would like to appeal to all of you who apply the knowledge and gain from the GCR to improve the quality of those services provided to all the Ugandans at all levels, particularly in GKC. This is particularly our mandate as Minister of Health as we contribute to the human capital government as described in our national.